put off by my wee scars. Oh, not at all. I actually have a few of my own. <laughs> oh, I'll bet. What type of battle scars did you get from the Black Gate, eh? Splinters! <laughs> oh, or did you uh, scar your voice telling your soldiers to head into battle? Tread lightly. My scars run very deep. Huh. The mighty Grog. You give me these. And he also... took my hunting partner. So, what now? Well, another lesson for you, my captain. <clears throat> Maybe you'll even come out of this one on Scar. <laughs> So, what backward lesson do you have planned this time, eh? Shooting Crabane to prepare us for the mighty Grog? You want to hunt Grog? Then so you shall. But not just any Grog. This is a rare one. It's territorial. Strong enough to claim land as its own. And you and me, we're trespassing. Tell me, Captain. You ever slay a Grog before? Today will be the first of many. Now you're talking like a hunter. I've got a feeling in my gut you may survive this, Captain. Well, since that's the largest part of you, I like those odds. So I assume you have a plan to kill this Grog? I do, Captain. And since you're so good at taking orders, I'll tell you how, step by step. Step one, when he's crunching on an Uruk, sneak up behind the giant beast and bleed the bastard's ankle. But why not his throat? There is one place Graugs aren't covered in spiky scales. They don't call a weakness a Graugs heel for nothing! You want me to sidle up to this beast? If you can manage it without being crushed, yes! There it goes! What a fine, fine specimen! And it'll meet a fine end. Sounds easy enough. Right, our cabin! Hear you! I've slain bigger crowds when I was a wee boy and my beard was only three inches long! The three! Shoot it in the head! What 
step four. There is no step four. It should be dead. You must have done it wrong. I'm following your orders. Well, that's your problem. I have an idea. What are you doing? You can't find it. with the sting of my blade. Instinct, gumption, respect. <laughs> Training's over. Got guts? Let's go spill some, eh? The darkness of Mordor doesn't seem to touch that dwarf. The Seven Rings of Power did not turn the Dwarf Kings to wraiths, as the Nine Rings did to man. They are a stubborn as stone and cannot be dominated by evil. That is why Sauron has sworn to destroy them. 